In Russia, being LGBTQ plus is not just about living your truth. It's about navigating a complex and often hostile environment. The Russian government, led by the Kremlin, uses homophobia as a tool. It's a way to control people and strengthen their own power. This tactic has serious consequences for LGBTQ plus individuals in Russia. They face discrimination, threats, and even violence because of who they are. This essay will explore the challenges faced by LGBTQ plus people in Russia. We'll look at how the government, society, and religion all play a part. We'll examine the influence of international actors and the global implications of Russia's actions. This is a story of survival, resilience, and the ongoing fight for equality in a country where being different can be dangerous. The Kremlin under President Putin has promoted a narrative that paints LGBTQ plus people as a threat to traditional Russian values. This is a deliberate strategy. By creating a common enemy, the government tries to unite the Russian people under their rule. They claim that LGBTQ plus rights are a foreign idea imposed by the West. This helps them deflect criticism of their own policies and portray themselves as protectors of Russian identity. This strategy has been effective in silencing dissent and consolidating power. The government has introduced a series of laws and policies that directly target LGBTQ plus individuals and organizations. The most infamous of these is the Gay Propaganda Law. This law, passed in 2013, effectively bans any public expression of LGBTQ plus identity or support for LGBTQ plus rights. It has been used to shut down LGBTQ plus organizations, censor media, and intimidate individuals. While the Kremlin often frames LGBTQ plus rights as a Western imposition, it's important to acknowledge the role of Western conservative groups in shaping Russia's anti-LGBTQ plus agenda. Organizations such as the World Congress of Families have actively exported their homophobic ideology to Russia. They have provided funding, training, and networking opportunities to Russian activists and policymakers who share their views. These groups have found fertile ground in Russia, where conservative values and distrust of the West run deep. This collaboration has resulted in a dangerous convergence of interests. Western conservative groups see Russia as a bulwark against what they perceive as the decline of traditional values in the West. The Kremlin, in turn, uses this alliance to bolster its legitimacy on the international stage and present itself as a defender of traditional family values. To understand the current situation for LGBTQ plus individuals in Russia, it's crucial to look back at the country's history. Homosexuality was criminalized in Russia under the Tsarist regime. This legacy of oppression continued under Soviet rule. While there were brief periods of relative tolerance, LGBTQ plus people were largely forced to live in secrecy and fear. The collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 brought a wave of social and political change. However, it also led to a resurgence of conservative values and a search for a new national identity. In this context, LGBTQ plus people became scapegoats for the anxieties and uncertainties of the post-Soviet era. The government and the Russian Orthodox Church, which has significant influence in Russian society, have both played a role in promoting homophobic attitudes. The Russian Orthodox Church wields considerable influence in Russia. It has been a vocal opponent of LGBTQ plus rights, framing homosexuality as a sin and a threat to traditional family values. The church's stance on this issue has had a profound impact on public opinion and government policy. Many Russians see LGBTQ plus identities as incompatible with their religious beliefs, contributing to a climate of intolerance and discrimination. The church's influence is particularly strong in rural areas and among older generations. It plays a significant role in shaping social norms and values. This makes it challenging for LGBTQ plus individuals, especially those living outside major cities, to live openly and authentically. They often face pressure to conform to traditional gender roles and expectations, leading to feelings of isolation and fear. The situation in Chechnya, a semi-autonomous republic within Russia, provides a chilling example of the persecution faced by LGBTQ plus people in Russia. Since 2017, there have been credible reports of a systematic campaign of violence and torture targeting LGBTQ plus individuals in Chechnya. This has included arbitrary detention, extrajudicial killings, and forced disappearances. The Chechen authorities have denied these allegations, but international organizations and human rights groups have documented numerous cases. 
The Russian government has done little to investigate these crimes or hold the perpetrators accountable. The situation in Chechnya serves as a stark reminder of the dangers faced by LGBTQ plus individuals in Russia and the lack of protection afforded to them by the state. Russia's anti-LGBTQ plus stance is not just a domestic issue. It has implications for the global fight for LGBTQ plus rights. The Kremlin has actively sought to export its homophobic agenda, promoting its traditional values model as an alternative to Western liberalism. This has emboldened anti-LGBTQ plus groups and governments around the world. Russia has used its influence in international forums, such as the United Nations, to oppose LGBTQ plus rights. It has also provided support to authoritarian regimes that persecute LGBTQ plus people. This has had a chilling effect on LGBTQ plus activism in many parts of the world, making it more difficult for LGBTQ plus people to advocate for their rights and access essential services. Finding Hope The Resilience of the LGBTQ plus Community in Russia Despite the challenges they face, LGBTQ plus people in Russia continue to show remarkable resilience and courage. They are organizing, raising their voices, and fighting for their rights, even in the face of danger and intimidation. They are creating their own spaces of support and community, both online and offline. These acts of resistance are a testament to the indomitable spirit of the LGBTQ plus community in Russia. They are a reminder that even in the darkest of times, hope and the fight for equality endure. They are also a call to action for the international community to stand in solidarity with LGBTQ plus people in Russia and support their struggle for a more just and equitable society. International Solidarity, a united front for change. The fight for LGBTQ plus rights in Russia cannot be won in isolation. It requires the support and solidarity of the international community. Governments, international organizations, and human rights groups must continue to pressure the Russian government to end its persecution of LGBTQ plus people. This includes speaking out against discriminatory laws and policies, imposing targeted sanctions on individuals responsible for human rights abuses, and providing support to LGBTQ plus organizations in Russia. The international community must also counter Russia's attempts to export its homophobic agenda. This includes challenging its narrative of traditional values and promoting a human rights-based approach to LGBTQ plus issues. It also requires supporting LGBTQ plus activists and organizations around the world who are working to advance equality and justice. The future of LGBTQ plus rights in Russia, a long road ahead. The road ahead for LGBTQ plus rights in Russia is long and uncertain. The current political climate is not conducive to progress and the government shows no sign of changing its stance. However, the LGBTQ plus community in Russia is not giving up. They continue to fight for their rights, even in the face of adversity. The international community must stand with them in their struggle. We must continue to shine a light on the human rights abuses taking place in Russia and hold the perpetrators accountable. We must support LGBTQ plus organizations and activists on the ground. And we must never stop fighting for a world where everyone, regardless of their sexual orientation or gender identity, can live with dignity, respect, and freedom. Conclusion, a call to action. The situation for LGBTQ plus people in Russia is a stark reminder that the fight for equality is far from over. It is a call to action for all of us to stand up against discrimination and prejudice in all its forms. We must challenge homophobia and transphobia wherever we see it, in our own communities and around the world. Silence is complicity. We must speak out for those who are silenced, fight for those who are marginalized, and stand in solidarity with those who are fighting for their rights. The fight for LGBTQ equality is a fight for human rights, and it is a fight that we must win together.